Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use lists in Sage 50 to view records entered into many of the maintain and task windows. The maintain windows, which you can access from the maintain command in the menu bar, are windows that let you add, edit, and delete data records used by the program. The task windows, which you can access from the tasks command in the menu bar, let you perform the different tasks within Sage 50 and often use data entered into the maintain windows. After adding, editing, and deleting accounts within the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, for example, you can click the List button in the Windows toolbar to open the Account List. The Account List window shows the accounts entered into the Maintain Chart of Accounts window in a list format. As you add records and perform tasks in Sage 50, the resulting items like customers, accounts, and more are saved into lists. You can access a list from its associated Maintain or Task window by clicking the List button in the Windows toolbar. Alternatively, you can click the Lists command in the menu bar, roll over the General List category, and then select a list from the side menu of choices that appears. Within the List window, you can open a list item in its associated Maintain or Task window by double-clicking the list item or by clicking the list item to select it and then clicking the open button in the toolbar at the top of the list window. You can also create new items within the related maintainer task window by clicking the new button in the list windows toolbar. For some lists related to task windows, you can also select an item in the list and then click the Copy button in the Lists toolbar to open a copy of the selected item for editing in the related task window. To refresh a list window, click the Refresh button to see the most recent changes to the list items. Lists also let you easily print their information by clicking the Print button in the toolbar of the list window. Doing this opens the Print dialog box for your computer where you can then set your printer settings, choose the number of copies to print, and then print the list. To send a list to Excel, to your default email program, or to save it as a PDF, click the Send To drop-down button in the toolbar of the list window, and then select either Excel, Email, or PDF, respectively. To change the columns shown in the list, Click the Settings button in the List Windows toolbar to open a Settings dialog box. To add columns to the list, click a column in the Available Columns list and then click the Add button to add it to the Selected Columns list. To remove a column, select it within the Selected Columns list and then click the Remove button. To change the order of the columns, select a column in the Selected Columns list and then click the Move Up or Move Down buttons until the column is in the desired place. To reset the list's column, click the Reset Defaults button. To save your changes when you are done, click the OK button. To cancel the changes, click the Cancel button. You can sort the data in the lists by the values within the columns. To sort by a list column's values, click its gray column heading to perform an ascending sort meaning A to Z, or 1 to 9. An upward pointing arrow in the column's header shows the type of sort applied. To sort in descending order, meaning Z to A, or 9 to 1, click the same column heading once again. The arrow in the column's heading then also points downward to show the sort order. You can also filter and find list items by using the filtering and searching options shown in the area just below the toolbar within the list window. For lists related to many of the task windows, you will often see a drop-down that lets you filter the list of transactions by date. For all lists, you will also see a Search For field that lets you type a criteria for which to search. Then use the adjacent In drop-down to select the list field within which to search. Then click the Search button to show matching results in the list. You can click the Clear Search button to show all the list items once more. At the left side of the list windows, you will see Tasks and Reports for the list items as a list of links that you can click. To perform any tasks, select a related list item if necessary, and then click the related link under the Tasks section. To run reports, 
Just click the Report link under the Reports section. You can also click the large button below these lists to open the related Sage 50 Navigation Center if needed. To close a list window when finished using it, click the Close button in the List Windows toolbar. Alternatively, click the X in the upper right corner of the window to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.